Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be knocking out three different things in this one video. One, we're going to go through my 2024 purse collection. Two, I'm going to show you what I normally put in my purse. And three, we're going to cover what's on my purse wish list for 2024. Typically, I don't buy purses until the end of the year say November, December time frame of that year. But I know what I want. So I sit and think about it for literally almost the whole year and see if I'm still feeling the same towards the end of the year. I have that much discipline because I have some really good bags that I already love. For me, purses are an investment. and Some are a little bit pricey. And when you see my collection, you'll notice some are a little bit pricey. So that's why I make sure the purses that I want and that are on my wish list, I actually want. So like November, typically around my birthday, I'll do one purse purchase this year 2024 my birthday falls the day before black friday it's falls on thanksgiving why am i saying the day before black friday thanksgiving is my birthday this year but black friday so i know there are gonna be some savings and some deals so i'm excited for that and then i'll do one closer to christmas as my christmas having a birthday that falls close to christmas i get two so the two on my wish list this year but first i'm going to talk quickly about the purses in my collection you know, I highlighted this purse. I did this video kind of last year and I highlighted this purse. This was my end of year 2022, I believe, purchase. And I wore this out a lot of 2023. This is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I have it in the medium size. They have two other, no, three other sizes. I think they have a micro, like a nano, a medium, and then a large. This I can fit my iPad in. It fits a lot. Again, I stuffed this, I think, in my last year's What's in My Purse, so you can see what it kind of fits. But the fact that it fits my iPad is what makes me love this purse. It matches most everything. I love a good camera colored and the tote bag for Marc Jacobs they have this in many different colors it's not just the camel colored standard black but overall such a good bag and they also have the canvas version which I also own I bought this bag and I think I bought this last year for the summer because the canvas I think works much better for kind of the summertime. Again, it is a cream colored and it does have the black on the side. This is a little bit less expensive. The canvas versions of the tote bag, a little bit cheaper than the leather version, but it has the same makeup, same straps. It is also in the medium size. Next bag, I love this last year and it is of course the Coach Pillow Tabby. Love the Tabby because it has the strap and the shoulder. I You will see a theme with me. Those are things I look for in my purses is the ability to wear it on my shoulder. I don't want to have to wear everything like this. Like I love it like this. This is really good for going out. Now the con of the pillow tabby is that because of the size you could not fit a lot in here. This is a piece, maybe a card holder. Usually I can put my external charger in here as well, but it is not going to fit a lot. The tabbiness makes it a little bit puffy, makes it probably give you the illusion that it can fit a lot, but it cannot fit a lot, unfortunately. So it is a good going out bag. This bag came out, Coach did their resurgence. Like people was like, okay, I might have been asleep, might have been a little rested on coach but coach is coaching and i think this bag proves that coach was really in his coach bag when it came out with this one of my wish lists spoiler alerts is from coach as well so very great bag next my second 2023 collection or purchase or maybe this is 2022 I think late 2022 maybe early 23. I cannot remember when I got this bag. I think when I bought it, it was fall, but I know I didn't get it this past fall. So I'm thinking it had to be fall of the prior year. But whatever the case may be, this is the Polen Numero. What numero is this? I'll put this on screen. I don't know why I can't remember what, what bag this is. Again, has the little strap, has the horse. We're going to have a shoulder strap. We're going to have a handle a lot of the times, so and we're going to have a shoulder strap back construction has this little fold on the inside when i open this and this is in the kind of like i like this color i don't have any other purse in my collection this color as you'll see so that's why i thought it was perfect for fall i do keep all the stuffing in all my bags 
all the time because I want them to keep their shape. They are good leather, but I still want them to keep their shape. I loved this bag. This bag comes in multiple sizes as well. I think they have a nano, a smaller version, a little bit bigger version. And I think this is the biggest version that they make. Not an iPad fitter. So not a bag I can fit my iPad in, unfortunately. I know it looks chocolate. I'm on screen, it looks kind of chocolate. In real life, it's kind of a kind of a chocolate, more purple color. Love this. Love, love, love Polin. Spoiler alert, Polin is also on my wish list. Another Polin bag is also on my wish list for 2024. My other bag, this is a long chomp bag. This is the black version long chomp. Again, not the super high quality. This is an affordable bag. And I, I have a lot of quality leather bags that sometimes they feel too big to bring to some events. Like an event like a picnic or something outdoorsy. Like having a structured leather bag, I've always felt like, okay, it's a bit much. Like, girl, we're not going to a business meeting. Like all my purses feel very formal. Like I want something that feels... Not like you could toss the bag around or like, you know, you can just have a little bit more fun with like this material is just so, you know, a picnic, a nice outdoorsy thing. I'm going to top golf with my friends. I don't need like a structured bag. Like I'm going to go putt putt. Like I don't need something so hardcore. This long chomp bag, I believe I will list the sizes of everything down below because most of the bags that I have, they come in a smaller version. They come in a larger version. Most of the time I don't go for the extreme largest version. So I know they have a bag of this that is huge that a lot of people like to use for carry-ons on flights. Myself, I like this size. Again, um, can fit like an iPad. So iPad appropriate sizing. I did also buy from Amazon. On. there's a thing that you can buy to make your or make sure your bag stays structured um, because sometimes these bags have the ability or the tendency to dip so without the structured this can hang a bit depending on what you put in it it can like get a little droopy and I, to avoid that droopiness I got this structured bag from Amazon to put and it keeps it a little bit more structured which I like so the next bag in my collection I think is the first like leather bag like from a label that I ever bought I'm thinking it's been about 10 years like 2014 like I had a big girl job I was ready to get into my investment bag pieces and I went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls of course and I got this bag from Michael Kors I don't know the title of it I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm sure it's like at outlets as well. Since it's at a TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they typically carry the bags that are also at outlets as well. But I did really love this bag when I first got it. I mean, it's up my alley. It has that remnants of the camel color of the tote bag. Um, from Marc Jacobs, has a side pocket, does fit my iPad, so that's a good thing. I think this was my first purchase alongside my Michael Kors Selma. I can't remember which came first. I think they came almost simultaneously. Like, I think if I got one, I got the other one six months later, and Michael Kors Selma bag, again, from another TJ Maxx Marshalls, but I love this bag, too. Like, this was fancy business meeting me, and it still is. Like, it's still such a good structured bag. Lasted 10 years. Like, we're talking 2014 me bought this. 2024 me has it still, and it's still... 30 and I think both of these because they were from TJ Maxx Marshalls neither one could be more than what 250 249 you know it's 249.99 type thing next a 2022 purchase and I wore this a lot in this past year 2023 as well I think I showed this in my last video when I was talking about the bags that I recently purchased and I wore out this is the of course LV Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 yeah, I think I originally wanted the 20 I didn't want the 30 I knew I didn't want the 30 I thought the 25 was gonna be too big this is perfect like I don't know what what I would have done with the little 20 like I got the size that I should have for sure like this is not big at all and it has the strap of course it can fit my iPad but it's a little bit of maneuvering because the curve in this is just hard I gotta kind of like force it in there and like have it but it'll fit it just takes a moment the opening of the bag isn't the hugest and i got this from fashion file again i buy all my second hand or all my luxury like my my when i say luxury i'm talking the over 500 luxury anything that's maybe over like a thousand is definitely a different category and for that category i do not go straight to the vendor i want 200 something dollars off while we are on fashion file 
of course, my YSL. I think this is the first thing I ever bought from Fashion File, honestly. I think the LV is my second thing. This might have been the very first thing I purchased. It does have the shoulder strap. It is the cute little going out. Like, a, it fits a lot more. <laughs> Ironically, I usually tend to go for my tabby a lot, but it fits a bit more than my tabby, actually, as a going out, nice going out bag. So, you guys see me highlight this in probably two years ago version of this video. The next bag for me is this recent purchase from mine. I think I got away with purchasing three bags in 2023 just because all of them i was like i'm not sitting more than a thousand a thousand is my bucket this one was under 500 i think i got my long chomp i might have also got in the Poland bag i can't remember if i got that in 2023 but i think all together it came to right where i was trying to stay in budget this is a good leather quality bag um claire v was in a brand i had really heard of but i saw it on tiktok and i was like this is a very cute fashionable like a really cute bag they have a lot of good bags on their site you can switch out their strap i have the strap that comes with it that is cool but again the quality of it's well and again i think it's in that same long chomp family where the bag isn't super structured so i can wear this as a more going out instead of the more structured bags if you notice i like a lot of good structured bags but sometimes you want something a little bit more floppy now my two Tory Burch. I love Tory Burch's belts. I love Tory Burch's like accessories. I, I have my Tory Burch earrings on right now today, but I had not really gotten to her bag game. And I do have the. I think this is the Kara bag, um, and I have it in this color. I don't have a bag in this color, and I really was intrigued by this color. Then it holds a lot more than both my YSL and the Tabby. So good if you want. It doesn't look super huge. I love the claps on it. It closes really hard really safely and just a good overall quality bag now this bag i have to say i have not worn and i really need to but i'm just like what can i wear where can i wear this to i bought this bag and i need to wear it more i've had it for over a year at this point your girl's gonna do better with this bag this i like bought it because i was like i don't have anything gray and i need to wear it for when i have gray things and it's like how often am, am i wearing gray this is the year of, of gray for me i'm gonna get into my gray bag this year now it's February, Black History Month. We got to have a shout out a black brand. Now, I'm not a big fan of Telfar. That the, the, the look of it isn't my vibe. Like the bags themselves, I think lovely bags, but like, you know, everything I've shown has been having a certain look to it. But Brandon Blackwood, he's bae. Like I want to get a second of the Brandon Blackwood. I have this bag. Now the thing about it too, probably fits a little less than that pillow tabby like pillow tabby already holds very little this is even less like you open this it's nothing child lip gloss hand sandy keys you know phone but i took this with me to vegas because it fits well it packs well when the suitcase doesn't take up that much space and it's a good little travel like in vegas i'm here to see usher i don't need a big fancy bag this bag does well brandon blackwood very very cute last but not least i just thought i'd throw in a funny one i bought a clear purse because i went to beyonce and i had no clear purses and you i've never gone to things where you need to clear bags and stuff so i bought this from amazon this is the last bag in my purse collection i was like oh i'm ready next time i have to go to any kind of sporting events your girl has her little clear bag from amazon now i said last but not least but I didn't mean that. Of course I had to get to the bag. The Grand Dom herself. The bag that I carry the most. This is the most carried bag for me in 2023. And that had to be my Celine mini belt bag. I think I, this is my last purchase from Fashion Fell. I got the YSL, the LV, and this bag from, again fashion file wanted it a bit cheaper than going to celine herself and getting this bag and i did i think it was almost like 200 dollars cheap but i've really said on this like i think that's one of my friends i talked to her like i was like i really want this bag and i need to sit with it like i needed to sit with it because of the cost of it it's not hermes birkin or kelly but it's still a pretty sizable investment was i really going to be wearing this bag like i hate to buy it and it turned out to be like that tory birch purse and i barely ever wear it honey it's giving its money's worth it's my favorite purse like uh, the strap I, I don't love because it's not super long like it's a strap but it's not as long as the other but it doesn't matter like i'll carry like this 
this bag i saw it so often and i was like what is this bag so i want this bag and then finally i got the bag it does have the zipper on the back the straps are detachable so if you want to take those off you can in terms of the opening this is not an ipad fitting purse like it does feel like it can but the way i stuff it i think if i took everything out i could fit my ipad in here like this is the elusive ipad that i've, I've been talking about could it fit like yes yes it does kind of fit does it close good not not not, not with everything i have in there but i've tried to fit it and then just not close it but again this is the ipad i have um it is the air if i had a mini if you have an ipad mini it'll probably fit but what's actually in it my wallet i just got this wallet from target like it's nothing i don't care i'm not a fancy wallet person like people usually have like a, a cool michael kors inside of a cool i think i have one things i had this michael kors wallet for a long long time it just got dirty like my wallet is in here usually with my pens i just said forget it sometimes my pens be open the wallet gets scratched up something bleeds in there let's just get a cool target wallet where i keep my change and then i keep cash and of course all my cards are in here sunglasses got these from michael kors and these are the bad boys in question really cute shades giving the vibes giving the vibes it hasn't been super sunny but when the summer comes and i need my shades i keep them in the purse advil i don't even keep a travel i keep like a, a whole tablet thing i do have asthma so i keep my little this is the generic version that you can get off the counter but it really works it's primatin 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 it's whatever it's not the prescription stress but i find it works very easily this year is something new i don't think this has historically ever been in what's my bag but a comb and a brush i bought this brush from amazon because it's a cute little like yeah you remember these i feel like these were big back in the day like back when i was in school and back when i was young these with the little mirror and all of that was so in style but i bought this because last year i was wearing more like i wore that human hairstyle and then i wore my hair out more i normally don't have to have a brush or a comb because i'm not wearing my own hair i'm wearing synthetic crochet hair you don't need a brush for synthetic crochet hair but especially this year too as i look to try more human hair options comb and brush like like i need to comb i need to brush like things need to be in order and it's something i historically never had in my purse but now i do of course my phone is always in my my purse i always keep this is the back side of it i flipped around it'll show all my details but i keep a name tag i don't work at a job where you have to have a name tag like you know like when i worked in was it at dairy queen or sears i used to have to have a name tag this is when i go to fairs i like to keep a name tag in my purse so that like oh we're at a career fair i have my name tag i don't need to like write my name on one of those like stickies you know they give you like a label sometimes you gotta write your name down and i'm like my handwriting is trash i'll just wear my own name tag so we don't have to play games with me writing talia and weird letters it's just the weirdest thing i do keep tissues of course speaking of hand sanity i do keep mine the touchland i really like this hand sanitizer it is expensive so i get it when it's a for a vib cell but it smells really really good speaking of work of course my um business cards of course a charger i like having an external charger on my purse because who knows where i'm gonna be with that you need a cord if it's like, well, I don't have a wall to plug it in. I'm at a restaurant. I'm on the go. You know, I need an external charger. I have the iPhone 13 right now, and we are on the iPhone 15. You know, if you're a couple of seasons behind on the iPhone, what it tends to do, it tends to die a little bit faster. My phone's in the die a little bit faster, set me up a disaster zone. So um, you're not going to win. I'm going to always be charged up, ready to go. Next, we have earphones. So I don't want to open them right now because it'll try to connect to my other iPad that I use for recording and I don't want it to mess anything up. But I do have my Beats. I did used to have the AirPods Pro, but I found Beats work better. I like the way the Beats kind of curve around your ear. My ear is not made for just the ones that just fit in your ear. Like my, they be flopping out. I don't think I got the ear canals for just the push ins. I need something around i'm not a headphones person either because i want to have the ability to only put one in if that's weird like i want to have a sort of awareness so of course headphones are always cute but i feel like you know 
it would work the best. I would never have to worry about them falling out, but I need to have my head on a swivel sometimes, and I can't do that with two, two ears covered. Next, we have a lip gloss. This is just the NYX Butter Gloss. When I'm on the road, I don't reapply a lipstick. I usually reapply a gloss. I do have another one in here, too. This is, must be the Anastasia Gilded, another cute gloss. I do have a lotion as well. Gum. Always the gum girl. This is very weird, but a wax stick for like my edges. Like I started needing that on the go. Cause sometimes the edge control not lasting, especially in the summertime. Like it's doing a good job in the winter. Like winter I can go all day, it'll last. But summer, sometimes your edges be your op. It'll be your op a bit. So overall, that's what I keep in my purse. Now finally, 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 I'm going to go through my wish list. The two bags that I've really been eyeing, it's really three, but I can I can do without the third one. So I, I had the third one that, as part of what I wanted to buy last year. It I wasn't compelled enough to buy it last year. Still on this list, I might not be compelled enough because it has so many similarities to this one. The first bag I know I want is the Coach Broom carry-all bag. Cute, cute bag. It's newer and they have two different sizes. They have a smaller size and a larger size. I do want the larger size because that looks like it can hold a, a iPad. I saw people put like a, a computer in there. The smaller size doesn't feel like it could fit that much. I know one's cheaper than the other, but I think I want that bigger version. I think it's right around 800, but it's still leather good quality looks like my version very structured bag like it's really cute and i and i think again coach is in its rena 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 songs in terms of a reemergent coach is coaching and i love that and the next bag is the polen numero 10 bag that bag so so cute uh, i think again maybe a bag that won't fit a super ton of things in the numero 10 i do want it in a cream color i don't have a cream colored bag like kind of a a lighter tone and i say that as i have a tory birch that i didn't have in that color and i was like oh i gotta buy that color i'm gonna wear it more and I don't wear it but i don't have anything super just solid cream and i think i will i think in the summers i will i think that's a nice like going out for a quick day brunch type of a thing in the spring instead of bringing something black my going out with friends bags is usually my coach and my ysl and they're both like black well, I want something that's not like black like black means evening to me you know a more spring lighter color means daytime and I don't think I have anything probably that Tory Burch that I'm not wearing but you know that's another story and the last bag is from Givenchy Givenchy the mini Antagonia bag Gonia am I saying that right Antagonia I like that bag it just feels like if I have this bag I don't know how much I would wear that bag if you can see like the occasions i would see wearing the Givenchy bag are the same ones i wear the celine one and i don't see the value in getting that over this one like i love this bag so much i love my celine bag so 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 much and i, I made a very good decision when purchasing this i just I, I'm talking myself out of Givenchy every year, but the Broom Carry All and the Numero Dies from Poulin are definitely on my two uh, want list. And I think with the combined total, it will cost much less than the Givenchy in total price. Again, I was going to get the Givenchy from Fashion File though, so... I wasn't going to be paying a full retail, okay? But you tell me, is there a bag I should be looking at? Having seen my collection and knowing who I am as a person, is there a bag that you like, this would be perfect? Looking at your style, looking at your aesthetic, looking at your color palette, this would be a good color to add. This would be a good bag to add. I am all ears or eyes down below in that comment section. As well as give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. We want all the love and support over here on this channel. We don't want no haters. We want all the love and support. That's what I said down below. As well as make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Have that notification bell on so you're assured you don't miss a thing. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at leelavon89 to keep up with my shenanigans in real time. TikTok at Levon, which is a bit more real time, a few more shenanigans, although you get outfit of the days on Instagram. So you can see these uh, purses in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.